Hello, Kremlin here for the Techies with another video tutorial for the program Inkscape. Today, I'm going to be going into the detail of the Fill and Stroke tool. My project is going to be to create, to make this, the Techies logo, uh, into a lava-like fill. Now, we'll select it and go into the Fill and Stroke tool over here. Now, this uh, window should pop up. Here we have the fill of the actual letters, the stroke, which is the actual uh, out, which is the outline of the text, and the stroke style. Now let's give this a um, a linear gradient here. Now you can see here that the text it uh, it fades from black to transparent. Uh, to edit the colors in here, we just press edit and this window should pop up. We have five different methods of um, changing the color here. I prefer the wheel since it's the most comprehensive, but you can choose either one you like. Now let's change the color of this primary stop here. Let's change it to dark red. Now you can see that my text fades from red to transparent. We can add another stop, which is another color in the middle of the two stops. Um, we can make it orange and move the transparency all the way up. So now uh, you can see in here and on the text that my colors fade from red to orange to transparent. Now to edit, to edit the orientation of my fill, we press the Create and Edit Gradients tool on the bottom left hand corner. Uh, now we have these three nodes which each represent a stop. We can move these around to change the orientation. Move this over here. Now we have uh, a fill going from the bottom to the top, going from red, orange to transparent. Now let's add a stroke to here. We have this flat color selected, that's fine, but we can't really see it at all. So we can go into, uh, here we go. We can go into stroke style, let's increase it to 2.5, let's say, and change the color to an orangish thing. And there we go. Um, we can change the opacity on here and the blur. All right. So, I'll show you another way of changing the, um, the fill and get, uh, adding some cool little uh, details to it. Now, we select our object, we go to Duplicate. Now we have two objects here, one on top of the other. Um, we're going to go into Fill, we're going to delete the main fill, now we're left with just a stroke as you can see here. We're going to make the stroke a lighter orange. There we go. Uh, let's move the width up to 3. And now, uh, what we can do is we can convert this text to a path, so click path and then object to path. Now this is just an object and not text. Um, now we'll press off dynamic offset, which stretches the text, as you can see here, which adds a nice little little not, uh, neon effect to the letters. Now we go back into fill and we can change the blur. Let's move it to just one. So now we have this fuzzy outline 